Hello you guys, it's your boy Kenny, and today I'm going to be giving you a little reaction to Sam Pepper's new video, Fake Hand Ass Pinch Prank. Sexually assaulting someone is huge everywhere, and people go to jail for this, and it, it blows my mind to think, you know, just because somebody pits prank in front of a video that makes it okay. I know YouTube as the company may not care about something like this, but I'm, I'm very relieved that the YouTube content creators have went ahead and uh, taken action. From people like Mamie Hart to Tyler Oakley, even to Lacey Green. And let me say this right now, this is not a hate video. This is not me trying to, you know, hate Sam Pepper. Um, even though he has the credibility to be known as an asshole. Let's let's be honest, he has the credibility to be known that, and I will go ahead and say that loud and proud after meeting him on numerous occasions. But but Sam, you're smarter than this. This is the first time that, you know, the YouTube content creators have actually joined up as a whole and have decided to say something about it. He's had numerous videos of like this. The videos of him when he's lassoing the girls with the lasso, stealing girlfriends, I think it's called, and then, making up with girls in public. Yeah, it might seem like funny and cool, but at the same time, that's sexually assaulting someone because no time during any one of those videos do you hear a girl say, yes, come over here and kiss me. It's very awkward. If you go watch Sam's latest video, the first girl says it all when he goes and touches her butt. She literally says something on the lines of, no, I don't like that, no. That should be the end of the video right there. Like I was saying, YouTube, as a company may not care about this, but it, 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 it shocks me because I know YouTube, they work off of people who have huge subscriptions and Sam, this video is gonna be broadcasted over to over 2 million people and even more maybe. And it, it, it blows my mind and I'm just like, YouTube, this obviously breaks your guidelines and as of 11.45 on Sunday, September 21st, 11.45 p.m., the video has still not been taken down. And it's not like Sam doesn't see it because you can literally go to his Twitter and see a latest tweet one hour ago, just one hour. When you're so lazy, all you want is pizza, but even ordering it is too much hard work. Obviously, so is taking down your video and realizing that you made a mistake. I want a public video apologizing. And it's not only me, it's, when I say I, I'm talking about the YouTube world in general all of us and although i'm going to throw shade right now even though he's my good friend and he knows this i want a public one and not a tweet like nash greer did you now have been banned from vidcon there's a rumor out there that you have been suspended from playlist that's floating around on twitter you know how twitter is but banned from vidcon you have been taken off or banned from the Fine Brothers, how they do their work. In the back of my brain, now that I'm talking, I wanna say this should have happened earlier. We should have said something earlier, but this was just too much. People have been accused for this in the past. You're not the first one. Let's take Alex Day, for example. Unlike what's happened so far, people have came out and rather, you know, brought it up or apologized for it. But he knows what actually happened with them, but we obviously see what you did three or more times on your channel. Yes, it might seem funny to you, but here in America, that shit don't fly, homeboy. Calling it a prank doesn't make it right. And I don't know what type of prankers you're being around that think that this is funny. I don't know what your videographer or some photographer is thinking, but come on, dude, you know better than this. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments in the description box below. I'd really appreciate them. All right, peace.